My name is Jelani Williamson. I'm a senior here at Georgetown majoring in economics and anthropology, and I'm from Silver Spring, Maryland. I think being an entrepreneur has you know, been in my spirit for a while. It's something I've always wanted to do. And people brainstorm about what they want to do when they grow up, what they want to be when I grow up. It's something that, you know, a lot of my mentors let me know is that, you know, if you find something that you love, you never have to work a day in your life. My uh, good friend at the time came up to me and was like, you spend a lot of time working at, you know, clothes, looking at music, looking at art, and you're more knowledgeable than most people, you know, it might make sense for you. You know, you to consolidate that and put it together in, in a way that's digestible for everyone else. So from there, I got the idea. Noose means we are, are our in French. So when I, when I think about culture, you know, I try to bring something that's for us. You know? So this is our culture. So that's where Noose culture comes from. Also, as a content provider, I, I try to be, you know, as objective as I can. In Amharic, Noose means news. Um, so bringing the news to people. The underlying meaning that kind of means the most to me is that in Latin, news means uh, intelligence or knowledge. So I think all those are, are really crucial to what we stand for at news. It's taught me that sometimes you just gotta, you know, grin and bear it and work 16 hours a day doing the same thing. And that translates directly into football, I think. Because if you put all the hours in the weight room, you're gonna be stronger than other people on the field. If you're on the field working out in the off season, you're gonna have better technique than people on the field. And you're gonna get a lot better and be a lot better. And I think that's what, you know, the entrepreneurial spirit taught me. Since Jelani's walked in, people have underestimated him. You know, when he walks in the door, you're not gonna say, hey, that's the starting corner for Georgetown and led the team in interceptions. And, Jelani has that thing, whatever it is, he's always around the football in the right place. And that's not purely by luck. Extremely smart football player and he studies the game and he's really dedicated to it. And you know, those things don't just stop when you walk off of the field. You know, that translates into his life on the hilltop in classes and with what he's doing with his company. So he's one of those guys that I would never bet against him, uh, especially with what he's doing for us football wise and you know what he's gonna do afterwards. I said it to our defense the other day, I said, you know, Make sure you, you stay close to Jelani because whatever he's, he's going to do something special in this life. He has that knack where he can do, he can do anything. You know, I'm always curious how he manages it all. And he just has that thing. He just likes to keep going. That's part of his motor. His motor doesn't stop. And even when he has a day off, I ask him, like, what are you going to do on this day off? I hope you're going to rest. And he's, he, just, he just keeps going. Artists reach out to me and say, you know, hey, can you, talk about my concert, right? I'm going to music concerts, I'm going to art installations. These are things that I love to do, you know, and if I didn't run news, I would pay money to do. So it seems like a win-win situation. Out of school, it might not be me jumping in head first full time, but me finding a career path that allows me to develop the skills that allows me to make this the best thing that it can be and meet people who can help me achieve that same goal.